Before this video starts, I want to quickly mention I am doing a giveaway over on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash chenchen53 or down in the description. It is going to be a month long giveaway and end on my birthday, which is April 21st. The main prize will be a free coaching plan to help the winners get to their desired rank where he or she can ask as many questions, bot review as many times as seen necessary, and overall an exclusive one-on-one -on -one experience to help them improve and climb. There will also be secondary prizes such as RP and money, so definitely go check it out. If you're interested, please check out my Discord announcements for more information. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hey everyone, Chen Chen here bringing you guys another video. Today we got a little bit of a different video. Normally I do gameplays or educational content, stream content, stuff like that. But today I'm going to start, not necessarily a new series, but if you guys enjoy these type of content, I'll definitely post a lot more. This is, as you can see by the title, Mr. Dardock himself, who enchanted me. Former rank 1, he's obviously gotten it multiple times. I'm pretty sure he even got it this season. So, uh, obviously, top tier player, NNA. And he went shit at me. You'll, you'll see by this video, and you can either agree with me or don't. If you don't agree with me, there's a pretty good chance you're just a dick rider. Because the thing that happened this game, 99.9% .9 of League community would probably say, yeah, he deserves to get banned for this. But anyways, uh, without further ado, we're going to start. Real quick, though, I do want to preface two things. First and foremost, I'm making this video not to hate on Dardoch. I don't hate anyone in League. Genuinely, like you can run me down to the fucking moon and back. I don't give a fuck. You go 0-50 in my game to challenger or game to fucking rank one. I don't care. Like, at the end of the day, it's a fucking video game, right? I want to preface that real quick. So, if Dardock's watching this, I'm not making this because I hate you. Uh, although I am apparently more emotionally mature than you because you ran me down when you're 24. But maybe your career is going backwards. It actually is, but, you know, maybe that's why. So, that's number one. Number two... Uh, and why I'm making this video is genuinely to show you guys how shit Riot is becoming. In the sense that uh, if our top tier, top 16 as I'm making this video, is literally win trading and not getting banned. What, what does that have to say for League uh, like quality in general, right? So that's kind of why I'm making this video. So uh, now we can start... Um, I'll preface, I'm not going to go through the whole video, obviously. I'll preface what's kind of happening here. First and foremost, I locked in Zil uh, Kassadin into Zillion because I thought it was Zillion. They locked in Pike and Zillion. Uh, it just completely flew over my mind that it could be Pike mid. I don't know. I haven't seen that. The only person that plays that is Davemon. I don't think this guy is Davemon. I think he's like a different one. But either way, I, I just immediately assumed it was Zillion mid. Uh, so this matchup's obviously going to be fucking anal blast for me. Um, so... And I, I think he played it pretty well as well. Obviously, I've never done this matchup before because I don't fucking opt into getting my ass bootied. So getting that silence timer was uh, a little bit interesting. But regardless, this is whatever. We're going to go into when the win trading actually happens. Right about now. So good old Dardock goes for a gank down in the bottom lane. JG diff, as you call it. And cool, we got first blood. We got first blood on Zeri. Nice. So, I get ganked here when my wave's ass. This is whatever. I dodge. Let's just watch that back beautifully. Beautifully executed by yours truly. Holy fuck. That is insanely hard to do and I fucking did it. But, anyways. Gregus comes to intercept. Echo, this is all fine and dandy. Maybe we could get a kill here if Echo didn't have, you know, flash, CDE, stuff like that. He has E here, I believe. So, he just gets out. Cool. This is all fine. This is where the wind training starts, or at least the griefing part starts. Zeri is recalling. My wave is fucked from getting ganked earlier, right? And then Dardock calls for an invade. As I was saying earlier, I genuinely think 99.9% .9 of League community would agree this is a bad play, even if you go all the way to silver, like gold. I played in all those elos, um, you know, whether I started there or fucking do Smurf series or just fucking for fun troll. <laughs> Don't cancel me, but I, sometimes I just fucking create a troll account, but I troll there and genuinely I've never seen this. Like, invade with a Kassadin that's level 3, no flash, and Zeri backing? Cool. Maybe in a blue moon this happens in silver and gold. Cool. This is challenge. Every single player in this lobby is challenge. Right? So he goes for an invade. Happens. Um... Even his friend, 
if you don't know who Scary Jerry is, uh, they're friends based on how they typed and pinged each other earlier, so pretty safe assumption they're they're like I don't know if they're close friends, but you know, they're they're friends. Normally in League, uh you don't run down your friends, but you know, Darduck had different plans this game. Uh so even his friend is pinging retreats. What does Mr. Darduck do? do? He does a little bit of a cheeky invade. I think this invade works every time. Tristana's also going to come... I forgot to mention, Tristana's also going to come back earlier, just based on how she died. This is what we call death tempo. Quick little educational thing for you guys, if Dardock's watching. Uh, I do coach. 20 bucks, let me know. Maybe he... Uh, good chance he didn't know what death timer is. Seriously. So, you know, that's something I could coach him on. Anyways. Uh, he dies here. This is where... You can classify it as a win trade, but... This is why League is such like a weird game to punish people for inting and win trading and stuff like that. There is like, it's hard to distinguish what is win trading versus just either being a bad player or bad game, stuff like that, right? In this scenario, I think you would, like, at least in my opinion, former rank 1, former LCS, I think this is a win trade. But if that's not to ban you, sure. I think this is, though. He's pinging Cassidy and Rakan, right? He's making it seem as if it's our fault that he died there. So, like, in my eyes, I think that's a win trade. Because that play is basically going to set us up for disaster every single time, right? Okay, so obviously I'm frustrated because I can't fucking play the game. My waves like this, I can't shove it out because people are fucking near. And my jungler literally win traded. My wave shit, Zeri's not there, I type, blah blah blah, very basic. He pings us again. So I, I do a little bit of a, a sarcasm here. Type, it's my bad. You know, th those are music to Dardock's ears. Like, his ego is fucking massive. So that'll maybe get him to play a little bit better. Um, and then obviously I have nothing to do. I just keep typing. He pings. He pinged himself. Because he's really, really large IQ. <laughs> he pinged himself. Uh, he pinged my rune page. Blah, blah, blah. And then... What ends up happening here is I can play the game, I think, because of my jungler. So in an alternate universe, and the right universe, I should say, in terms of macro, any, like, professional coach you ask would probably agree with this. What should have happened is he should have just came, fixed my wave, cool. Fine and dandy, we scale, we win the game. No complications. But Mr. Dardock had different plans. He, he really wanted blue. He really wanted to brute force his way into blue buff. And sadly, he didn't get it, so he has to ping the level 3 caster with no flash. He has to ping Rakan. Very good. And then he does a little bit of a, you know, rank 16 shenanigans. Just just a little bit. It's all fine and dandy. Now this is where, if earlier you, you could make the argument that, hey, you know, maybe it was just a bad game. Maybe he had too much, uh, too much of, maybe he was smoking too much. Too much of the, the good stuff, you know, like... His career, like I said, is going backwards from LCS to Academy to Amateur to now Collegiate. Yikes. You know, his career is going pretty backwards, so... Maybe he was out of play. This is where you can now ban him. Alright. Watch this. So he goes for mid wave. This is all fine and dandy. Obviously, I can't get to it. I mute him because apparently I'm more emotionally fucking stable than him. I don't know. And, yeah. He's threatening to push my next wave. If you play League of Legends, you know why this is wrong. He has three camps, he has one camp here, and your mid laner already can't play the game, and I'm already going to match and get the wave. You only take that one wave under tower only because I'm not there, right? But on this wave, I'm going to be there, I'm going to be able to touch it, and he takes it all, and just to reassure you that he's literally doing it with L will intent. Boom, there it is, smited. Instantly, if I'm right against here, I ban him. You know what's sad, though? He's not banned. He's not banned yet. He's allowed to do this. He's allowed to win trade me uh, and not get away with it. This is Challenger. I want to reiterate. This is top tier, the pinnacle, about as high elo as you can get. And this is allowed? Yikes. So he ends up dying, which is uh, very good. And I end up dying, which is also very good. I type X9 jungle win trading. And his friend is literally asking him, why dart basically implying why are you win trading right so for any of you like extremely low if you're iron and be like oh, this looks fine this looks fine maybe in the world this is fine no because it, literally his friend is like why darty as in why are you griefing this game right 
So, I mean, obviously I type because I, I can't play the game at this point, so... Pike's joining in, and I was like, invading, blah blah blah, and Pike is even on our side, which, like I said, obviously, like, 99.9% .9 of League community would probably agree uh, that, you know, based on watching this event here and this event here, he's just straight up griefing, right? The only 0.001% chance that you don't think so is if you're Darduck fanboy. That's it. That's literally it. So, anyway, zero chance you can do anything there, blah blah blah. Uh, and I mean, my game's unplayable at this point. I'm way too behind into a really hard matchup. No flash, and my jungler's win trading. Uh, we're gonna skip over a lot of this, because it's kind of irrelevant. He does a couple more good old inting things, like this right here. Uh, as you can see, he's hovering here. Very good jungler. He's hovering the dive. Ooh, he's waiting for me to die, is what he's doing. You guys see that? It's like, okay, Chenchen 53. I know I took your weight, but let me protect you here. He has all his CDs. I'm protecting, I'm protecting. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Now I'm gonna go in. I'll, I'll go in five seconds after you die. Okay, oh. Let me ulti my head real quick. Bomba. Ooh, mid diff, mid diff. If I. <laughs> Mark my words, by the way, if I didn't have his ping muted. He's probably pinging something about me. On God. He even pings this. So he's just great thing at this point. Like, unarguably, like, <laughs> just fucking ban him, right? I don't care who he is. If Faker did what Gragas did this game, I think Faker deserves to get banned. I don't care who does this. They deserve to get banned. As simple as that. So, anyways. Fine and dandy. He does a little bit of a, a cute little... I mean, he's playing for the enemy team. That's why he ulted me. He thought I was the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's playing for the enemy team. So, he's win trading. Cool. So, I typed that. Because, obviously, I'm getting absolutely grieved. And I think the rest, you guys have seen enough. Uh, so, I mean, my my ADC was trying his best to win. We potentially... I think we actually do win if Dardock just doesn't win trade. Let me see if I can... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the game's winnable. Our top is inting, but... I mean, she actually has an excuse. Hard matchup. Plus, she doesn't have a jungler to play with, because my jungler is literally griefing. My jungler ended 1-11-5. Cool. Anyways, that is it for the video. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want more of this type of content, I genuinely... Unironically, I could post more win trade type of content where I get win traded, versus high elo, like, high quality games. Because at right now, at a point of League of Legends, this current point, you get more of these games than you do of high elo. Where, you, where it's like back to back, you're fighting for your life, quality content, you know, stuff like that. You 1v9, stuff like that. You don't get those. You do get these though. Rank 16 NA, no problem. Dardock runs NA guys, so. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for the video. If you found it entertaining or whatnot, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, thank you so much, Fedaro, for inting me. I needed content, bro. Holy fuck. My YouTube's dying. Goddamn. That is it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And yeah, change it out.